and welcome to Nurse Table Talk. Today, Kathy and I are here to talk about our topic, which fall is... Prevention. Fall prevention. Fall <laughs> prevention. Which are, and what actions we can do to prevent them, or take up on, you know, do ourselves so we can help prevent falls. So, Kathy, so why is this important? Oh, I'm such a huge, I'm so sorry. Fall prevention makes me happy, because <laughs> hip surgeries make me sad. <laughs> so... Fall, know, right. pre fall prevention is absolutely, a I, I, honestly, safety is like the biggest thing right. that we can do to preserve our ongoing healthy longevity. Right. It's huge. Right. Right. Um, it, it's not fun. It's not glamorous, you know, and, right. but, you know, it really, really goes a long way in preserving our integrity as people, our mobility status, our ability to be independent. Um and it, it's it cuts huge. down on our anxiety and huge. emotional distress because we're laid up in a yes. hospital bed somewhere or you something. You can be independent longer. Yeah. I mean, it's that big. So right. today we wanted to really just kind of um, talk about um, what you can do, what we can help you in our experience, what we've learned over the years to help you stay safe in your home. Um, kind of some basics on how to prevent falls and then how to get better at being better. Okay, so yeah. I have a story. Do. So I wear glasses, right? So I've had, not in the last few years, but I have fallen. I, it doesn't have to be ice outside, on the ground. I, I've gone down on asphalt and on dry weather and just all of a sudden found myself looking up. And it could be because I'm not looking down, you know, I'm, I'm looking ahead but I'm not really paying attention to where my footing is. And if the sidewalk slants yes. just, just so slightly, I turn my ankle, boom, boom. down. Yep. Broken fingers, broken, I didn't break a wrist. But, but you've noticed that about had, yourself. Oh yeah, foot injuries, yeah. you name it. So it hits quite home, to, quite close to home for me. I have a story too. Um, my mom, who's no longer with us, but uh, probably 10 years ago, um, she, fell out she got wrapped up in her bed sheets right fell out of bed onto the carpeted floor which is what like that and mm -hmm. broke her hip yeah so it's, so it's really really important and um it, it wherever you go if you go to your primary care doctor or a specialist or anything, they usually do ask about falls, and, and this is why. Right. Yeah. And so there's things that you can do to prevent falls. Yeah. You know, keep yourself safe. So one thing, like Kathy, when she was talking about her mom, um, you know, people have to get up in the middle of the night, maybe have to use the restroom, so they may kind of... Um, be a little a disoriented yeah, and they're in a hurry. changing positions they're in a hurry they want to get there before they have an accident or something and they're quick they're quick on their feet they haven't really registered but there's no lighting or there's a rug there Boom, oh wow gone, so there you go gone. so you know what can you what can you do you can put some lighting put a night light yeah in night there. good old-fashioned make night a pathway light. so you can find your way in and and yes. in a safe way, you know, yes. so that might be one thing. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Another thing, too, is to take off those really, take up all those pretty loose rugs that you right. have all over the house. Right. I know you like your rugs, but there's just something about getting that corner of that rug, especially if they don't have those mats underneath them that right. keep them in one spot. Right. And that's all you need is one toe under that rug and you're a goner or that rug to slip. It's not worth it. Right. right. So just get rid of the rugs. Um, that's you, the first thing they're going to tell you. If you were to fall and come home from the hospital, the very first thing that that physical therapist does is throw all of your rugs away. So if you can get your rugs up first, you're going to prevent, right. it'll help prevent that hospitalization. Right. Then they might do a, a scan to see how many books or newspapers yeah. or clutter that you might have in your hallways or in your pathways throughout your rooms. Yeah. So keep your pathways and your hallways open. uncluttered yeah. and open. And, yeah. you know, it's like we see the commercials of the grandma walking down the stairs with the laundry and then there's like a Legos or something on the staircase, make sure that your stairs are clear. Make right. sure that make sure that your loved ones aren't leaving things for you to fall over. You right. know, verbalize that that's important that they right. not do that. Right. And let your house guests know if you if you're having people stay with you. I know out in my home right now I have steep stairs. I have a older home and um, one of my family members came and stayed with me. And oh, yeah. as they were rounding the corner to come down, they said, 
whoa, Julie, um, pretty steep here. I say, yeah, you know, you got to really watch it. Now, I'm used to it because I live there. Right. But that person wasn't familiar with the way with my your, steps with wrapped around. So, yeah, so, so slow. It can happen to anybody. So slow down and pay attention is another right. really good piece of advice. Right. I love what you have written here, which is wear sensible shoes. Right. Oh, my God, nothing makes me crazy or than someone in stocking feet running around the house, you know, on hardwood floors or the tile surfaces right. in socks makes me nuts. Like, <laughs> and, and for all of those women and men out there who think it's okay that your toes overhang at the end of your sandals to keep them on, no, 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 that causes so many falls. So wear good shoes. I mean, you know, yeah. it, it, it's, it, it's not, like I said, it's not really glamorous, but it goes such a long way yeah. if you could just prevent It's hard in the it's first hard. place. You, you have stylish shoes and there's such cute ones out there, but after you fall, if you, you know, yeah, you, you get over, yeah, you're okay. But then you might want to relook at it. But so we also have things on here like grab bars in the yes. bathroom, safety features in yeah. your bathroom. Yeah, or, or I have them because I'm in an older home again. I have steps down into my family room and also steps down into a bedroom. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just what it is, and it's very charming and that. But when we first bought the home and moved you in, be careful I put grab bars in. Yeah, I put people, you know, they're stepping up into another room. I have grab bars, and they're decorative. They don't look like yeah. A, you don't have it. Doesn't have to look like an institution. No. Julie's house is absolutely exquisite. Oh, so. thank you. But but you know, I wanted it not only for me, but for my guests that come in and yeah. that too. So so th so I would have to say too, you know. Um, the basics too would be like get enough sleep. Right. That's don't huge. don't overextend yourself. If you're like exhausted, yeah, and you know it, you're tired. That's not the day to go decide to dig a new garden plot. <laughs> you know, I mean, just you gotta <laughs> or go skiing. <laughs> yeah, use use some common sense with yeah. your energy level. If you're not feeling well anyway, then that's not the day probably to try to go to the grocery store. Right. Right. Um, in people that live in the northern parts of the United States and other areas around the globe that have pretty substantial winters, um, you've got to watch that ice. Right. You've got to watch the ice. They make these wonderful things that snap on the bottom of people's shoes. Oh, the, um, the little like grippy, a, slippy things. Yeah, they I think, have grips and they have also like steel steel things. That everyone should have a pair of those. They break through the ice when you're walking on If them. someone's looking for a great Christmas present for their older relatives yeah. or even themselves or their loved ones, those little grippy things are excellent. And you can find them really anywhere online or at, at pretty at pretty much every shoe store I've ever been to, I've right. seen them. Right. Um, so that they should be coming out around now. We're getting into the fall season. Yeah. So, if you have a cane or a walker, it doesn't do any good. Newsflash: It doesn't do any good if it's sitting in the corner. Right. So and, and people will say to me, "Well, my halls are narrow, and I can't get my walker through." Well, they have now more narrow walkers. Uh, walkers, and then yeah. and the walkers also have baskets on them. And not only that, they have little seats on them, and they're very easy and portable to put in your car. If you don't have one, and your and your um, walker is bigger, and that's substantial, and that's great. Um, but ask your doctor about it. Get yeah. another one that so you, that you're using it more, and you can rest with the seat if you get tired, or if you're wanting to um, maneuver it into your narrow, more narrow, you know. Entrances into yeah, your bedrooms and that. It yeah, because different really is, doorways are different. Yeah, uh, different and um, people, widths. Yeah, and people will keep one in their car and they'll keep one in their house and they'll say, "Well, you know, I really they're costly." Well, here's the other thing: you can ask your doctor to write a prescription for yes. you and see what your it's called DME benefits, yes. durable medical, medical equipment, equipment benefits. Call your insurance company. Yep. Cards and there are numbers on the back of your insurance card. Yep. Ask them. What are my, ask for customer service and ask them, what are my durable, what are my benefits? And they will let you know what your out-of-pocket costs are and then you can call your doctor mm -hmm. and say, hey, can I order a, um, can you order a, a walker a, for a me? A walker. Or and so, or whatever. Yeah. Or even as a second piece of equipment because you might need it for, you, you want to prevent falls. So, so we're talking about the preventing falls if, if you're, like at your home or in a store or right. or in an environment, right? But we're not really talking about 
there are there are definitely some physical reasons that people fall some right. some physiological reasons that people right. fall now we as we all get older we have a tendency not to really we kind of lose what they call those spatial senses which is kind of like like depth perception yeah like yeah. depth perception and like you mentioned your glasses where you look down and yeah. it looks to be a certain you know and span from here just to there and it's off and just yeah. enough so those are things that change as we get older now there's another phenomenon called orthostatic hypotension, and I won't bore you with the reasons behind this, but a lot of people who have cardiac issues develop orthostatic hypotension because our heart muscles aren't as strong as they used to be. So we they don't stand up pump as get, eff effectively. Right. So wobbly when they stand. Yeah, you hear people all the time, and it's like they're fine when they're lying down, and then when they stand up, they're... so. The super, is su I can't diagnose you. That's not what I'm doing. Right. But if you think that that sounds like you, like every time you, you move your head fast or you get up too quick or you are you sit on the side of the bed and then you stand up and all of a sudden you feel like you're, you are you need to sit back down again, so, so you those are symptoms right. of orthostatic hypotension. And you want to change your position slowly. Yes, and every time you right. change your position, count to ten. That's, yeah. that's my little trick that I oh, learned. Oh, that's a good trick. Because it keeps you grounded for the yeah. count of 10 before you go to make the next move. Right. Um, and that gets your blood pressure, your blood flow into your brain and your heart and your lungs and, and your muscles, and everybody's on the same page. So that, and you're more stable. Yes, that's what it does. Yeah. So so yeah. slow your movements down. Yeah. Um, using um, Here's a couple of other ideas. Using mats in your shower or or bathtub so you don't slip. Yes. And maybe have a shower chair there as yes. well. Yes. Um, and you can, if you, and I know we're just throwing a lot of different ideas out there, but the other thing too is if your shower, if you have a handheld shower nozzle, that helps too. Because um, you can sit, right? Right. You're sitting and you're not having to stand up and reach and then you lose yeah. your balance because you're trying to reach for something and your chair's over here and you're over yeah, here. Yeah, I mean it's 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 it, just it ends a, up it ends up sounding like twister by the time <laughs> by the time we get called in to pick up the pieces, it's like you can I just know, imagine. So, so those are just a few ideas, but So you can you can mention um, you know, you can mention to your doctor um, that you have concerns about falling. I wouldn't ever, ever tell people to keep that a secret it, it is indicative of some other things that may be going on and that's information your doctor really needs in order right. to figure out what you need next there are disease processes like Parkinson's disease and neuro, different neuromuscular right. disorders and some other things that where you know. where there are specialized exercise classes for those folks to teach them how to be safe at home and so it really does depend on root cause on what's going on with you. So when we talk about the orthostatic hypotension and the, and the Parkinson's disease, right. medication mismanagement or side right. effects, again, we are not diagnosing, but we're giving you ideas so that if you're sitting at home and this is speaking to you, we, Call want, your you, doctor. we want you to get on the phone with your doctor. One of the things that we didn't mention that I want to kind of throw in at the very end is... Um, if you are on a blood thinner, like Coumadin, Eliquis, Zeralto, Warfarin, if you are on a to blood name a thinner, few, yes, more out there. there are more. But if you're on a blood thinner and you fall, they should have already explained to you that you have an increased likelihood of bleeding. Right. You could be bleeding internally and, no and not know. know it. So, so your doctors always want you to report that. Yes, you have to call the doctor. There are if 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 you have a loved one who repeatedly falls and they're on one of those medications, there are alternatives. There's alternative treatments for that person, but the doctor has no idea unless you're forthcoming. Right. And, you know, if you lose consciousness at all with a fall, that's something else you want to report. But the other thing, too, I'm switching gears here a little bit. We didn't talk about fall devices. I know that's a whole different thing, but there are different devices now your insurance company may have coverage on some different devices that are out there, or companies that monitor for falls, or you know, oh, sometimes like the little there's alarms your phone. like this, like you wear around your yeah, you wear, or, or yeah. sometimes now sometimes um, watches, um, you know, there's different watch types. I've fallen out there. and I can't get up stuff. Yeah, yeah, and you know, but so those are different areas, and your doctors and their um, 
nurses would be up on the latest technologies and what they think based on your personal health history, what and might you're, be a best fit for you. Well, and your activity level and where right. you are. And, but there, she's right. There are so many companies out there developing this and it, it looks like anything from a, a watch or a pendant to a bracelet or, um, you know, just something that you just have programmed into your cell phone even. I mean, right. there's all different kinds of stuff. And and I'm not, we are not, Kathy and I are not promoting any particular business or any particular product. But I do know that falls can happen at any oh, age. Oh, they can. And maybe somebody doesn't want to wear something that makes them feel like they have a medical condition, like so they, to speak. Like they stand out? Yeah, so maybe they want to wear a watch. True. And, and you know, so I know I have a watch that um, just with technology and how it's trans transformed over, you know, every, it just is lickety split. The, you have these yeah. new things. So if I fall and I don't move within a certain amount of time, um, they may send a signal, kind of like OnStar in your car. Oh, yeah. Hey, are you, you know, are, are you, you okay? Over? And if they, yeah, are you okay? Yeah. And if you don't respond within so many minutes, I mean, I've never had to use my feature on my watch, but then they would send an ambulance to your location. Now, again, is that for everybody? No, maybe somebody else is comfortable with something it else. It really just depends. But it depends on you, how you feel about your personal situation, you know. So, so, so the so in in wrapping this whole thing up, I think it's really important to mention not to be prideful. This is not a moment right. to stand on who you were fifty years ago on the football field and declare that you're too, you're too um, macho yeah. for for this because this will take you down. This it all it takes is one good fall right. and people's lives change that quickly. Right, you were laid up from work or oh my gosh, you know you can't if the holidays are coming leads, up. One and thing you're leads laid up to the for, next for your birthday or your holidays. Yeah. And one thing leads to the next, and so you never really know where you never know where that avalanche right. is going to stop. So right. you're best to get ahead of it. Um, I can promise you when Julie and I are in our 70s and the doctor says you need a walker, I'm not going to bulk at it because right. I'm I'm right. learning that. To age gracefully and healthfully is the best gift that we can give ourselves. So and your kids will love it too because yeah. they're going to feel more comfortable taking you, or yeah. going with you, or you taking or them, or not worrying about you. <laughs> yeah, or you Whatever taking the them to the to apple be. orchards or to somewhere where the ground is uneven, yeah. and you say, "Hey, let's go here. I've got my stuff. I'll just pack my stuff up, and boom, we're in the car, and away yeah. we go." And there's balance classes at your local senior centers. That Very might be true. something to check out. PT, don't don't hesitate to ask about physical, physical therapy. therapy. You know, help get you stronger, develop those core muscles. But one thing, you know, and this leads us back to prevention, and we'll do another segment on this too, is you got to stay active. Right. So for you to stay as healthy as your ba at your baseline for as long as possible is probably the best definition of wellness. Yeah. And that prevents nasty things like falls from occurring you you Correct. you maintain it it works on your body chemistry it works in your muscles in your heart it just in your makes core. you overall stronger yeah and so even if you were to fall and you're an active person you're more likely to be able to get up and and that that ends up being a different conversation right. too there's so many there's so many topics and health yeah um health you know issues that we can discuss on our channel we're taking it one step at a time and right. kind of where we land we land and that's the topic for the day now we do have q a question and answer or comments and please fill those out if you're yeah, you know interested in a topic we'll do our best we're not again individualized but if we have enough people asking about the same type of topic yeah. you know we'll certainly try and bring it to the forefront so but yeah, I hope that you guys got at least a little something out of this. And I know it can be a touchy subject because it, it hinges on being dependent versus we have independent. A lot of touchy, we have yeah. a lot of touchy subjects. Yeah. We it, do. It hinges on between being dependent and independent, but um, it's really, really important. So um, we hope that we said something that you could be... Be informed, be, be proactive about your health. Yeah. Um, follow and your doctor's recommendations, address your concerns, let them know, make list. Anything that you can do to help yourself is mm -hmm. going to be benefiting you. Absolutely. Take care of you. You take care. Bye-bye. Like the content you just watched? Hit the like button or hit subscribe here. You want to be notified of any future videos? Please ring that bell.
there's any topic you'd like to see discussed, leave us a comment in the comment section. Nurse Table Talk. Save time, save money, be informed. Thanks for watching.